Don't you hate when YouTubers use gimmicks to get you to watch their videos? Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI and I'm happy to say that Tensor Art has reached out to sponsor this video today to share with you that they have a really cool little interface for interacting with the Hunyuan model, which if you're not aware, is an open source AI video generation model, which in addition to having text to video capabilities now also has image to video capabilities. When the image to video capabilities were first released, the model that went out had a little bit of a problem and it really wasn't doing what it said it was going to do. And I have an example of that to show you and then the fix. If you're not familiar with Tensor Art, they are another AI image and video generation platform, but they also allow you to train models and host your models there so that you can use them. You can make money by selling your models. There's so much going on here. It is actually quite mind blowing. Let's just ease into Tensor Art a little bit with this quick demonstration of the Hunyuan model and how you can use it here on their platform. I've got quite a few examples to show you here in a short amount of time of both the text to video capabilities of the Hunyuan model here and the image to video capabilities. Before we go through the examples, let me just show you how the interface works. I provided two links in the description, one to the image to video interface and another to the text to video interface. And one of the things that differentiates doing this over at TensorArt as opposed to other platforms is you can use custom LoRa's, whether they're LoRa's you created or LoRa's that are here available in the platform. And it's super easy. I'm gonna show you examples of all of it, but first let's just show you how it basically works. When you click the image to video link in the description, you're going to get to an interface like this where you basically drag in an image. In this case, I dragged in this one. The Hunyuan image to video model will already be loaded here. So all you have to do is type in a prompt. In this case, it might be magician shows you around the billiard hall. You're able to choose a duration anywhere from three to five seconds. We'll just go with four right now and several video resolutions. So I'm going to go with one that matches that picture and click on generate. The text to video model is almost identical, except that you're not dropping in a starting image. You would just basically type whatever it is you want to see. And this is where you can also add a custom Laura if you have one. I've got a couple of Hunyuan video models that I have uploaded to the platform. So you can use Laura's that you've created outside as well as the ones that are here. If I wanted to use me, I would just click run here and my Laura will be placed right here ready for a prompt. You'll probably want to do a generation or two to adjust the value of the custom Laura just to see how it works. But right now I'm just going to go with about 1.2 and I'll just say man is talking into a microphone in a purple recording studio. And I've got my Laura loaded and we'll just click on generate. Now these things take a few minutes, so let's just scroll down to the bottom and we will go through what I've already done and I'll show you how it was done. When you click on any of these videos here, you can see the prompt that was used, the size and the model, which was the Hunyuan video model. Duration of five seconds. And just keep in mind that the first frame of the video is the image that I used to create it. The resolution's great and the movement is realistic. Now on this one, I used a far more detailed prompt. The first one was woman is posing for the camera in a seductive way and that's it. And in this one, I enhanced the prompt. I don't know that the animation is necessarily that much better, but it's different and it is pretty impressive for an open source model, don't you think? Here was another one based on an image that I uploaded and the prompt was simply undersea monster with tentacles is swimming away. And I went 720 by 720 on this one. There are a few generations in this list that I did by accident when I had the WAN model chosen because fun fact, in addition to the Hunyuan video model, they also have the Mochi model, Sky Reels, and WAN 2.1 that you can play with. For example, this is an image to video example using the WAN model, which as I say, I prompted accidentally. Woman is driving a boat at high speed being chased by a flock of seagulls. Still didn't catch that I was using the WAN model and just ran it again. The overwhelming opinion seems to be that the WAN model is better than the Hunyuan model. Some say by leaps and bounds. And I'll agree, it's a great model, but the Hunyuan model does not suck. Now here's an example where I was getting to know how to use the LoRa's with the text to video option. Here I had the Tracy Laura loaded at a value of one, the Honeywin video model loaded, and then the prompt was, woman is drinking a glass of wine alone at an outdoor cafe in a marina at night. And so it was getting close to her there, but I wanted to play with the values a little bit more. So I also changed the prompt to say blonde and changed the resolution. So woman with blonde, I forgot to say here, is drinking a glass of wine alone at an outdoor cafe in a marina? at night. If I go back to the parameters there, I had actually adjusted this up to 1.1 up from just one. This was just another take with the exact same parameters. Now this one is actually much closer to her and you'll see that I lowered the strength to 0.6 on the LoRa. So it actually wanted a lower value. Now, here was another attempt at the Honeywin model. And this one demonstrates the problem that the original image to video model had. If you watch this video as it's looping, you'll see a real quick flash there. Well, that flash is actually the first frame that I uploaded, which is this, which obviously didn't 
did not translate. But then when I went back to generate more this morning, the model had obviously been updated because I've got great results to show you from that point on. For a few of these examples, I wanted to generate some images that I didn't have already done. Of course, this platform excels in this, and although this was not intentional here, these are some images that were created right here in the platform. You'll see I used the Flux Dev model and also a custom Flux Laura for images, not for video. This is another one that I had done right here on this platform, plus a 3D cartoon Laura. And so then I was playing with this with various strengths until I got kind of what I was looking for, something crazy looking like this and this. So here's another example of the WAN model in action. I did generate this here on Tensor Art, and then I realized, oh wait, that's not the Hunyuan model, which is what this video is about, but I thought this was fun enough to show you. So this one here is a little bit jerky. I'm not exactly sure why. I certainly don't have that problem with all of them, but the second one I tried was a little bit jerky when we look at the cat's tails and some of the movement around the mouth here. Here's another example, started with an image, and woman is smiling as cats eat her birthday cake. So they don't actually get into the eating part, and it seems like she takes them away. I will say that in terms of prompt adherence, the Honeywin model could use a little work, whereas the WAN model is pretty strong in that area, and I'll have another example of an accidental thing that I did before. Here's your basic girl posing for a photo. This one I ran for four seconds, starting with this still image here, a pug drinking beer on the beach as the tide rolls in. So even though there's not a ton of activity going on, we've got a really nice wave going here, and the pug does move and look at it. For this example, I added some stuff to the prompt to see what I could get to generate out of nothing. And I added, as the tide rolls in, a sea monster crawls out of the water. So we've just got another take on the movement in general, a much slower tide coming in. He does seem to move the glass towards his face, but there is no sea monster. However, when I used the wand model and gave it the exact same prompt, we got this. So it's much more cartoony. It's not as realistic. It's not based on an image. It's strictly text to video here. And the sea monster is a pug but it did try to follow the prompt a little bit more than the Hunyuan model did. Here's another image I generated here in the platform, and then the prompt was a glass VW Beetle is driving down the Pacific coast, 1280 by 720. Oh, and here is the Hunyuan model's text to image take on the pug at the beach. Instead of using a starting image, I just said, a pug drinking beer on the beach as the tide rolls in and a sea monster crawls out of the water. So we have a nice pug and we got the beer. I really like all of this. The ocean is beautiful, but no sea monster. But I don't want you to give up on the sea monster just yet. Another rendering of a VW. This one, it ended up in the water. And what's interesting about this result is the prompt was completely wrong. It said Natalie Portman is reading a news report, which is another experiment that I'll show you in a second, but it did this anyway, even with that weird prompt. So I said, well, why don't I give it the right prompt? And it basically did the exact same thing, even though I'm telling it to drive along the beach and the water sloshing around inside, and we don't really see too much of that. So for this one, I was doing another test to see if the LORAs that were created for the text to video model would work on the image to video model. And you can see I used the Natalie Portman Hunyuan video model, which you can find right here on the platform. And I cranked it up to like 1.2, so I was sure to see some effect. And as you can see here, we don't really see any of Natalie Portman. Back to generating in the platform, a Dutch angle, large neon glass motorcycle being ridden by a cyborg is racing through a cyberpunk city. I basically used that exact prompt with the video model. In this case, I didn't use the aspect ratio. And while we've got a little bit of implied movement here, we don't really see it racing down the street. However, when I changed the aspect ratio, it's a little bit better. You can clearly see where it's not quite right, but the movement is way more implied. Really happy with this one. For this one here, I loaded in my own Hunyuan video Laura and prompted it. A man drinking a beer on the beach as the tide rolls in and a large snake-like sea monster emerges out of the water. Again, this is the text to video model and it nailed it. And this was right out of the gate in terms of the likeness. It did a really great job, except it keeps wanting to put a watch on me and I don't wear watches. For these last two, I used the Emma Watson and Honeywind Video Laura. This is the text to video model. And I simply said, woman is standing in line at the grocery store eating an apple. I didn't say Emma Watson or anything like that. And really same thing here with this take. I think the likeness is better probably because it's just close up, but really, really great quality. Again, open source model. To add these Lauras, by the way, that are here on the platform, we would have to clear this one out first, then click on add Laura and click on all. And among a whole variety of Lauras that you might find, here's the one that we used. We just select it and it loads right in and is ready to go. Finally, we come full circle to the ones we created at the beginning, the Honeywin model. Here we go, the magician shows you around the billiard hall. Of course, we've only given him four seconds, so we can't take a whole tour. We got some nice movement back here in the background too, so I couldn't be more happy with this one. And this one here, it's almost like it can see in this room. That's pretty crazy there. Man is talking into a microphone, Probo Recording Studio, my model. It may not be a perfect likeness, but it is impressively close. 
So if you're still shopping around for an all-in-one AI image and video generation platform, you might consider this one. It has some bells and whistles the other ones don't, and a pretty freaking impressive pricing model, and lots of ways to earn credits without spending any money. If these are the types of solutions you like to learn about and play with, then why not subscribe to this channel? Because these are the types of things we talk about all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...